broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic Believe you could have it, and I know of sadness the It's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number 30 And it's WWE Main Event and as we inch closer and closer, less than two weeks away, to the biggest party of the Summer SummerSlam, in tonight's main event, the top two contenders for the Intercontinental Championship will be on the same side when Drew McIntyre and the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne will be forced to team up yet again, this time against Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. Can the number one contenders for the Intercontinental Championship coexist? Or will Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan get back to the winning ways in tonight's main event? But that is not the only tag team affair we have coming your way tonight as we kick things off with a women's division tag team matchup. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Glen Ridge, New Jersey, Casey Catanzaro! Casey Catanzaro is set for tag team action here tonight. She is still new to the WWE main roster, but she has done nothing short or been nothing short of impressive, excuse me, ever since making her debut a number of weeks ago. A couple of collisions against Mickey James. She has split the difference with her, one, one win apiece. And of course, remember after that second matchup with Mickey James, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, hit in the ring, attacking Casey Catanzaro. Last time we saw Casey as well, Shayna Baszler inside the ring was a part of that fatal four way matchup, elimination style, where the winner went on to fight Bianca Belair this coming, and coming up in two weeks at SummerSlam. Casey Catanzaro was the first casualty of that elimination matchup, but she's looking to bounce back here tonight with the women's champion by her side in this tag team affair. And here comes the WWE Women's Champion of the World. And her partner from Knoxville, Tennessee, the Raw Women's Champion. Well, after the most recent main event, the match is set, and it's coming up at SummerSlam live from Phoenix. Bianca Belair will be defending the WWE Women's Championship in her third meeting against Shotzi, the new number one contender. These two women have met twice before, both incredible encounters where Shotzi was extremely impressive. Both times, Bianca Belair, however, was the one getting her hand raised. It's been a few months since they've met, and now they meet for the third time. This time, the championship will be on the line. And it's not going to be right here on Main Event. It's not going to be on Monday Night Raw. It's going to be on one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year. SummerSlam coming up on June 26th right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as we continue on with our opening contest. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna! Well, as we mentioned, it was a couple of weeks ago, right here on Main Event, Casey Catanzaro picking up her second, or I should say her first victory over Mickey James in their second encounter, where Shayna Baszler hit the ring and attacked Casey Catanzaro. The presumptuous that we came up with was that Shayna Baszler was evidently just trying to welcome the rookie to the main roster in her own way. Humble the rookie, if you will. Obviously, Casey Catanzaro has been in the WWE for several years, but she is new here to the main roster, and Shayna Baszler absolutely making a statement on that night, attacking Casey Catanzaro after a win over Mickey James and tapping her out inside the middle of the ring. And as we mentioned, both of those women were inside the ring in that four-way elimination matchup. Of course, saw Shotzi being the winner moving on to SummerSlam. Casey Catanzaro was the first woman eliminated there, but now she's looking for... Vengeance against the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, here tonight. And by her side will be the other woman that's been a thorn in the side for Casey Catanzaro. Future Hall of Famer, Mickey James. Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. As we mentioned, Mickey James and Casey Catanzaro, two previous encounters inside the ring. You can call this the rubber match, if you will, not in a singles way, but in tag team action here tonight. Mickey James and Shayna Baszler joining sides as they've got a, a common enemy in Casey. And then of course, Casey recruiting the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Blair to be by her side tonight. As Bianca's looking to keep her momentum going with the SummerSlam pay-per-view coming up in less than two weeks time. 
Bianca Belair has been nothing short of impressive, as we're going to continue to talk about. And she's got a huge date set with Shotzi coming up on June 26. But he can't overlook the now. He can't overlook the present. And she can't overlook Mickey James and Shayna Baszler. As we get set for our opening contest here on the second to last main event before SummerSlam, Casey Catanzaro and the women's champion Mickey James, or excuse me, the women's champion Bianca Belair taking on Mickey James and Shayna Baszler. Can you tell I'm pumped up for SummerSlam? We got Casey Catanzaro and Shayna Baszler kicking us off here. Shayna Baszler immediately going on the attack on Casey here. Doing what she does best with all of these gut wrench suplexes here. Taking Casey off her feet. And as we mentioned, Bianca Belair, the role she has been on as of late, these last number of months, championship victories, retaining her championship over Sasha Banks at Backlash, Rhea Ripley at Money in the Bank. Once again, defeating Rhea Ripley in that no holds barred match a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. What an incredible encounter that was. We've also seen Bianca Belair again with two victories over Shotzi a number of months ago. Also a victory over Bailey on Monday Night Raw. Bianca Belair has been in the winning ways and nothing short of it. Week after week, month after month. And it looks to be that she may just be continuing that momentum. Coming up at SummerSlam, but Shotzi's been on a roll as of late. Victory over Io Shirai. Victory in that fatal four-way matchup. She's been looking great. She could be the one to dethrone. Bianca Belair coming up at SummerSlam. And as you all saw, this is not going to be the only tag team encounter that we see here tonight. Coming up in our main event, it's going to be the number one contenders. As we wait a minute, Bianca Belair with that hair whip to Shayna Baszler. And I cut myself off here to call the action. Women's champion in there with an old rival, Shayna. And I look at this, taking her down. As we were mentioning, coming up in tonight's main event, the top two contenders for the Intercontinental Championship, the men that will fight Sheamus for the Intercontinental Gold in a triple threat matchup at SummerSlam. The Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. Going to team up yet again. This time, oh, there's Casey Catanzaro taking a spill to the outside. So Mickey James is in here now working on both of these women. McIntyre and Pete Dunne going to be taking on Danny Burch and Ernie Lorcan, who are going to be searching for a victory for the first time in quite a while here tonight. Again, that is coming up later. We got the now right here of Mickey James. Credit to her as ruling the ring. This last moment or so, taking out Casey Catanzaro twice, whether it's fair or not, and she took out Bianca Belair, made the tag, and now Bianca's in. Now she's looking to get a little bit of retribution over Mickey James, but can't take your eye off the ball when you're in there at the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. And Shayna looking to pick up the big time victory over Bianca Belair, but Belair gets the shoulder up, and it's always interesting anytime Bianca Belair is in there with any given opponent. Any person who picks up the victory over the women's champion absolutely could be putting themselves in line for a future championship opportunity. In this case, it would be after SummerSlam, whether the champion is Bianca Blair or will we see a new champion in Shotzi? And Baszler down and out. The women's champion is heading to the top rope. We're going to keep the roll going. Big time elbow drop. A move that we have seen Bianca get the victory with in the past. And Shayna Baszler gets the shoulder up. Bianca Belair's got so many ways to beat you inside of that ring. I think that's one of the reasons we can credit as to her recent success. The KOD, the shooting star press, the, the splash and the elbow drop from the top rope we've seen her get victories with. She's all over the place inside the ring and she's got more than one ways to take it down as Casey Catanzaro is back in the ring here, taking down Shayna Baszler. Casey Catanzaro missing that senton there, and now Shayna, look at this, gonna take advantage. It takes Casey to her feet. Casey Catanzaro is still young in her WWE career. She's been in the WWE for a number of years down at NXT. She's new here to the main roster, and she's already got enemies. And Mickey James and Shayna Baszler are seemingly just trying to build momentum off of the rookie. As Mickey takes down Casey Catanzaro there. Casey, well, Casey got the shoulder up. Bianca Belair also getting in the ring to break it up. And Mickey, look at this. Mickey James taking down the women's champion. Casey's right there, though, with the drop kick. And after off her feet, and she gets the senton that she was looking for a few moments ago. Casey Catanzaro to the cover. Looking to get the win for her team, but Mickey James gets the shoulder up. Casey bringing Mickey to her feet. 
two women are starting to learn each other's strategies inside their ring. It's the third time they have met. Two singles matches in the past, and now this tag team collision here tonight. Casey Catanzaro putting Mickey James in the corner. We've seen these strikes out of Casey before. Former American Ninja Warrior knows how to get it done. Mickey James may be in trouble here in this tag team contest. This is unloaded. Look at that. Oh no! Mickey James went for the mid kick, but Casey Catanzaro spun around into that double knees. What a counter there from Casey. That was incredible. Mickey James going for the mid kick out of nowhere. As she was spinning around, though, Casey took to the air and caught her with that 360 recall knee. Extremely impressive reversal and maneuver from Casey Catanzaro. Mickey James makes the tag to Shayna Baszler. Casey tags in the women's champion here. Casey taking care of Mickey James. Bianca Blair into the mood solo. on Shayna Baszler looking to get the win in the tag team contest, but Shayna gets the shoulder up. Starting to reach the deep waters of this tag team matchup. You can sense it in the air here. Man, what a maneuver that was a few moments ago. Bianca Belair looking to get the job done here. She uses her strength to her advantage over Shayna Baszler, who is no small woman. Bianca with, takes it to the air with that splash. Into the cover, but Mickey James, that could have been all there, but Mickey James in the wrong corner. She gets in there to break up the pinfall. And now look at this, Bianca's keeping the momentum going, trying to hook the legs. Or excuse me, hook the arms, but Shayna Baszler takes out the foot of Bianca Belair. Oh, and now just snaps the arm, and Shayna takes the champion off her feet. Great tag team matchup. Match we got opening up here on main event, and there's, there's Bianca Belair with the spear out of nowhere. Yet another move that makes Bianca so impressive inside of the ring. Catching Shayna absolutely out of nowhere. With that maneuver there, taking her off her feet, now sends her into the corner. The women's champion's got something in mind here. She's got Shayna sitting on the tippy top rope. The EST's headed there. Could be looking for that super flex, and she takes her down. Shayna takes the fall. Bianca Belair is feeling it here. Grabbing a hold of the Queen of Spades. Shayna's in deep trouble. KOD by the women's champion. KOD takes out Shayna Baszler. Mickey James, oh, Mickey James taking a shot at Bianca Belair there. Oh, Bianca with a little retribution, knocking her off the apron. And I think Bianca Belair knows that Shayna had a moment to rest. She's gonna hit the ropes. Nail that frog splash. A signature move for the EST. And we have your winners. What a great contest to kick us off here tonight. Casey Catanzaro with the help of the WWE Women's Champion Bianca Belair getting a measure of revenge over Mickey James and Shayna Baszler in this tag team matchup. And here's that maneuver that we saw earlier. Mickey James going for that mid kick with Casey Catanzaro catching her with that 360 knee. What an impressive reversal that was. Casey continuing to impress here on the main roster week after week after here week. Casey gets the revenge, and Bianca continues to build momentum on the road to SummerSlam. Well, coming up on June the 26th, the next time we come your way on pay-per-view, live from Phoenix, Arizona, it's going to be the biggest event of the summer, the biggest party of the summer. SummerSlam is coming your way right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And already signed for that event, the one and only Ricochet is next to challenge Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. The WWE World Tag Team Championships are up for grabs as the Viking Raiders who have been nothing short of dominant take on Rey Mysterio as well as his son Dominic. The WWE Women's Championship will be on the line as Bianca Belair, who you just saw successfully in that ring, will defend against Shotzi, the number one contender in their third meeting in the ring. And her Continental Championship is up for grabs in the triple threat matchup when Sheamus defends against the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre and the bruiserweight Pete Dunne. Randy Orton is out for vengeance for Riddle. Will he get that in his meeting with the almighty Bobby Lashley? Orton's been waiting weeks for this and he gets Lashley at SummerSlam. 
All day, Austin Theory called out John Cena and the franchise answer, and we're going to get this first time ever matchup coming your way at SummerSlam. The grudge match months in the making has now been made a steel cage matchup, and it's going to be Mustafa Ali taking on the Messiah, Seth Rollins. The rated R superstar Edge will cash in the Money in the Bank contract against the phenomenal AJ Styles in a WrestleMania rematch this time for the WWE Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, we heard from Finn Balor on Twitter earlier today who had this to say regarding his SummerSlam matchup with Jeff Hardy, who said Jeff is going to get what he wants at SummerSlam, an Extreme Rules match with me, except it won't just be me coming to Phoenix, because at SummerSlam, the demon will rise. Finn Balor promising the return of the Demon King at SummerSlam in an Extreme Rules matchup against the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Months in the making, these two men gonna come to blows when absolutely anything goes live from Phoenix. And speaking of the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. He's in the house and he's in action right here, right now on WWE Main Event. And he's looking to build some momentum with that Extreme Rules matchup coming up at SummerSlam where he will fight the demon Finn Balor. Jeff Hardy's got every hope in the world and he's looking to keep the momentum going before he gets the long-awaited matchup he wants with the man who's been a thorn in his side for several, several months. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! It really all started between Jeff Hardy and Finn Balor when they met one-on-one -on -one a number of months ago on Monday Night Raw where it was meant to just be an exhibition competition matchup. But Jeff Hardy picked up the win on that night. He handed Finn Balor his third loss in that recent history, which sent Finn Balor over the edge. Balor snapped, attacked Jeff Hardy. He blamed it on the fact that Jeff was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. But Jeff Hardy wanted retribution. He challenged Finn Balor to a match at Backlash, where Finn Balor picked up the victory, showing a new side, a newfound aggression in the Prince. After the matchup though, Finn Balor couldn't let it be. He took to the Jeff Hardy with a steel chair, which absolutely took this rivalry to yet another level. And before we continue on with the rest of that story, Jeff Hardy's opponent tonight, a man he's got history with. It's a former Intercontinental Champion, a former United States Champion, a man who's got all the tools inside the ring, Apollo Crews. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews. Fun fact. Apollo Crews, the man Jeff Hardy took on on the final roll before Backlash a number of months ago. And we mentioned that because Jeff Hardy was so aggressive and so in hot pursuit of Finn Balor that he absolutely destroyed Apollo Crews on that evening. Apollo Crews has been in action since then, but now he's got Jeff Hardy in the ring once again here tonight. And I'm sure with similar circumstances at hand, Apollo Crews is going to be expecting Jeff Hardy to come out hot here tonight. But Crews, I expect, is going to be ready. And I'm sure he's looking to get that win back for a number of months ago on Monday Night Raw. Should be a great contest. Continuous on here on main event between Apollo Crews and Jeff Hardy on Jeff Hardy's road to SummerSlam. And as we get set for this matchup, we've been talking about the feud, talking about the rivalry between the Prince and the Enigma. We talked about how Finn Balor left Jeff Hardy laying at Backlash a number of months ago. That, of course, led to several more attacks, several more brawls between the two men. Of course, the last time we were on pay-per-view, Jeff Hardy and Finn Balor found themselves in a triple threat contest against the WWE Champion AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. Where AJ Styles pinned Jeff Hardy in that matchup to gain the victory, which sent Finn Balor even more over the edge, now blaming Jeff Hardy not just for being in the wrong place at the wrong time, or not just for using Jeff Hardy to make his statement to the rest of the locker room. But now Jeff Hardy has cost in Finn Balor's eyes a chance to be WWE Champion. Balor took things to yet another level when he attacked Jeff Hardy in the locker room a number of weeks ago. Sending Jeff Hardy crashing through a solid wood table and sending him through right on the concrete floor. Jeff Hardy, remember, got a measure of revenge when we saw Finn Balor versus Dominic Dijakovic 
right here on main event a couple of weeks ago. Oh, and Apollo Crew, that a big time elbow there. Remember when we saw that contest against Dominic Dijakovic and Finn Balor, Jeff Hardy making his presence felt. Coming up from behind, cracking Finn Balor over the head of the steel chair and handing Dijakovic the victory. The Apollo Crews are going to get the victory here over Jeff, but Jeff gets his shoulder up. Oh, things have just been absolutely off the charts. I'm getting taken to an unnecessary level between Jeff and Finn Balor. Jeff going to pick up the bin, not, not yet over Apollo Crews. Oh, things between Jeff and Finn Balor finally going to come to come to a head and finally going to culminate. Coming up at SummerSlam on June 26th. The two men are going to meet in an Extreme Rules matchup, and Finn Balor up in the ante even more. It won't just be the Prince coming to Phoenix, it's going to be the Demon. What a matchup that is going to be as Jeff Hardy is rolling here over Apollo Crews. Leg drop, drop kick. Jeff Hardy pulling out the signature offense. Oh, Apollo Crews, look at this, sticking with Jeff here. Small package, they're going to get the victory. Jeff gets the shoulder up. Remember, Apollo Crews is not forgotten about that night where Jeff Hardy absolutely came out swinging. And defeated him a couple of months ago on Monday Night Raw. So we're gonna get that victory back here tonight on main event. Jeff Hardy taking out the leg of Apollo Crews though. Jeff's gotta be feeling more motivated, more aggressive than ever. With Finn Balor coming up on the horizon, with everything that has transpired between those men. You gotta question if Jeff Hardy is 100%. He's taken some beatings from Finn Balor as of late, but regardless, the two men are gonna fight in that Extreme Rules contest. You remember the two men were supposed to have that matchup one-on-one. -on -one. Supposed to end things once and for all between the two men, one-on-one. -on -one. A no-holds-barred match. A Monday Night Raw. The match never taking place. Oh, was Finn Balor attack Jeff Hardy in the locker room in that, that, that brawl. Stemming out onto the stage here. And Jeff Hardy, nice mood saw of Apollo Crews. Jeff's looking to keep the momentum going. Over Apollo here, there he is, takes him over. And a nice drop kick yet again. Crews is down and out, Jeff Hardy's feeling it. Looking to keep the momentum going. Apollo Crews did, no, Apollo Crews grabbing a hold of Jeff Hardy here. And Jeff goes for a ride. Cruz gonna follow it up. Picture perfect mood salt. Jeff Hardy gets swatched against the canvas. Cruz going for the victory here. Only a one count though. Jeff Hardy is fired up, man. It's gonna be hard to keep this man down inside the square circle here tonight. Jeff dodges the shot. Shot of his own now. Apollo dodges. Jeff dodges. Back and forth we go, and Jeff takes Apollo off his feet with that incendiary. Jeff Hardy grabbing a hold, picking Cruz up. Nope. Oh, and he follows it up. Jeff Hardy had other plans. Unorthodox style of Jeff Hardy as he hits that senton springboard maneuver. Gonna follow it up here. Jeff Hardy really unloaded with the offense. Moonsault into the pinfall here. Cruz getting the shoulder up. This time not as easy for Jeff Hardy to get the victory over Apollo Cruz. Apollo Crews clearly watching this tape of the last matchup, knowing how to survive the onslaught of Jeff Hardy. But Jeff Hardy here, look at this. Twist of fate to Apollo Crews. And that might be the knockout blow, but Jeff Hardy's got other plans as he's headed to the top rope. Swan Ton Bomb. Jeff Hardy to the cover. Thanks for coming, Apollo Crews. But Jeff Hardy continues on. He is on a collision course for SummerSlam. And nothing is gonna derail this man right now. Jeff Hardy picking up a huge win as we're less than two weeks away from his meeting with Finn Balor with the Demon in Extreme Rules. Something's gotta give between the Charismatic Enigma and the Prince coming up at SummerSlam.
Well, in your next episode of Universe Mode, it's the final Monday Night Raw before SummerSlam, and the number one contender for the Women's Championship, Shotzi, is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Mrs. Money in the Bank, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. What a one-on-one -on -one meeting that is going to be coming up on Monday Night Raw. And then in the main event of Raw, also signed, it's a special countdown to SummerSlam Tag Team Extravaganza in the main event, when Seth Rollins and Murphy take on the SummerSlam main event, WWE Champion AJ Styles and Mr. Money in the Bank Edge. Will those two men be able to coexist? Exists, and will Seth Rollins build momentum before his matchup with Mustafa Ali inside the steel cage? What a night that is going to be on the final Raw before SummerSlam, but we are now set for your main event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 380 pounds. Oni Lorcan and Danny. Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch have been searching for a victory for quite a while. Ever since they lost to the Viking Raiders in that World Tag Team Championship opportunity at Money in the Bank, they've been on a losing end of things, multiple tag team losses to the Mysterios recently here on Main Event, but they're looking to bounce back against Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne here tonight. Can Lorcan and Birch get the job done? But as for their opponents, first things first, Drew McIntyre. These men have been on a roll as of late. McIntyre and Pete Dunne defeated Jinder Mahal and Sheamus a number of weeks ago. When Drew McIntyre pinned the Intercontinental Champion Sheamus in that tag team matchup, he earned a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for the Intercontinental title at SummerSlam. But Pete Dunne was given an, given an opportunity as well. He went one-on-one -on -one with Drew McIntyre on Raw. Pete Dunne defeated Drew McIntyre, and now we have a three-way dance set for SummerSlam. We know Drew McIntyre was looking for an another one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. After McIntyre came up short at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, failing to become the Intercontinental Champion, you know he wanted another one-on-one -on -one opportunity. But regardless, he gets another opportunity. It's going to be a triple threat, but he's going to have to deal with his tag team partner here tonight, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. They were on the same side and got the job done a couple of weeks ago. They'll be on the same side and I'm sure they can coexist, but the question remains, who is going to be the one walking away from the championships on the line? Coming up on pay-per-view on June 26. And from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. The Bruiserweight has been nothing short of impressive since coming up to the main roster at the Backlash pay-per-view a number of months ago. Victory after victory after victory for the Bruiserweight. And he's looking to continue that momentum and be crowned the brand new Intercontinental Champion. Pete Dunne has been a champion in the past with a very long reign in the books with WWE United Kingdom Championship. Pete Dunne is looking to add to that list of accomplishments but two extremely tall and heavy tasks in front of him with Drew McIntyre and the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Sheamus has been on a roll, so has Pete Dunne. The thing about Drew McIntyre is he can earn the opportunities, but seemingly every time he's in the big match as of late, he can't get the job done. A lot of interesting scenarios heading into that triple threat matchup at SummerSlam, but regardless of the championship contest, we're right here, we're right now, here on WWE Main Event, Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan are looking to make a name for themselves yet again over McIntyre and Pete Dunne. Oni Lorcan immediately taking Drew McIntyre down to the mat below. You remember Drew McIntyre owns a singles victory in recent history over Oni Lorcan. Oni Lorcan, I'm sure, has got that in the back of his mind. And not only is he looking to get the victory for his team here tonight, but he's looking to get that back, get that win back, I should say, over Drew McIntyre. He's got him in the tree of woe, and he's taking the boot to the big man. I'm sure the Intercontinental Champion Sheamus has got his eyes on this contest. This will be the last time we see Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne in action before SummerSlam, and I'm sure he would love to see them take a beating on behalf of Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch here tonight. Danny Burch in there with the big man now, and McIntyre sends him over the top rope. McIntyre, obviously the strongest competitor in this contest. 
and also the most successful, if you will, a former WWE Champion, a former Intercontinental Champion in the early days of his WWE career. Royal Rumble match winner McIntyre's been a Tag Team Champion. He knows how to get it done. And we've talked about this a lot recently, and that's every time Drew McIntyre is seemingly in the big match, the championship match, the match to decide it all, the big opportunity. He seemingly keeps coming up short. Remember all the way back to that number one contenders tournament in April. Where Drew McIntyre took on AJ Styles. The number one contenders WWE Championship Tournament Finals. AJ Styles picked up the win. AJ went on to become the WWE Champion. Drew McIntyre wasn't even on the Backlash pay-per-view. McIntyre meant Edge. The night after Backlash on Monday Night Raw as Pete Dunne gets tagged in. Along with Oni Lorcan here. Remember, Drew McIntyre went one-on-one -on -one with Edge, as we were mentioning, in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. And it was Edge who picked up the win on that night. McIntyre, of course, earned that championship opportunity against Sheamus at Money in the Bank. It was an eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal here on main event. It was a big win that night for McIntyre. But then, of course, at Money in the Bank, he came up short against Sheamus. So McIntyre is not completely, you know, in the mud here. He's not completely in the gutter. There seemingly is something to talk about there when it comes to those big match scenarios and championships are on the line. So you got to take that into question. If McIntyre is going to be able to get the job done or is he going to crack under pressure seemingly coming up at SummerSlam. Zoni Lorcan now heading to the top rope. Goes for the elbow drop but the bruiserweight gets out of the way. And Pete Dunne follows it up with a big time pump kick. Lorcan taking off his feet. Pete Dunne grabbing a hold. Yeah, look at this, Pete Dunne, the bruiserweight, doing what he does best. Beating down his opponent limb by limb, takes him to the mat and stomping him right in the spine. Pete Dunne kick, follows up with a shot. No, Odie Lorcan dodges it with a shot of his own. A nice headbutt. We're going to get a tag to Danny Burch. And remember, Pete Dunne and Drew McIntyre, they found their way into this Intercontinental Championship opportunities originally. And the two men teamed up against the Intercontinental Champion Sheamus and his friend Jinder Mahal right here. And it was Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne who got the tag team victory. Of course, McIntyre was handed the singles opportunity at SummerSlam originally because he was the one not only who got the victory in that contest, but he was the one who pinned Sheamus in that matchup. And then Pete Dunne, of course, was still given an opportunity as he was on the winning side of things. Pete Dunne and McIntyre went one-on-one -on, -one on Monday Night Raw, and Pete Dunne got the win in a hellacious contest against the Scottish Psychopath. Speaking of the big man, he's in there beating down Danny Burch right now, and McIntyre looks like he's going to be heading to the top rope, but Danny Burch is right there to cut him off. McIntyre going to change the plans mid-direction. Nice axe hammer from the top rope. We apologize for some of the cuts in our screen here, a little bit of weather conditions in the area. Tony Lorcan grabbed a hold of Drew McIntyre here. Again, we apologize for some of the weather conditions here in the area. That's what some of our uh, connections out to all you fine viewers. But nonetheless, Drew McIntyre, look at this. Big time powerbomb on Oni Lorcan. And that is not just a normal powerbomb. That's the strength and size of Drew McIntyre. Sending you crashing into the map below. McIntyre going to follow it up with a couple of boots. Lorcan and Birch in trouble here. We talked about their recent losses against the Viking Raiders, the Mysterios. Of course, as we mentioned, McIntyre at the win over Lorcan recently. McIntyre looking to get it done again. Future Shock DDT. Into the cover goes the big man. The Oni Lorcan gets the shoulder up. A little early in this contest, though. He's been going at it for a couple of minutes, but we know how tough Lorcan and Birch are in that ring. They're going to be hard to keep down. McIntyre goes for the elbow, but Lorcan sidesteps it. Grabs a hold. If there's anybody who's going to be able to take Drew McIntyre off his feet with a headbutt, it's going to be one of these tough SOBs. McIntyre's dazed. Here comes Lorcan. Big time blockbuster. Taking the near seven footer off his feet. Lorcan into the cover on Drew McIntyre. Going to pick up a big time victory here, but McIntyre gets the shoulder up. And what it will be, what a win it would be, excuse me, for Lorcan and Birch if they can not only knock off. McIntyre and Pete Dunne here. Oh, and McIntyre with a headbutt. And McIntyre, oh, he could have, I thought he was going to be looking for the blows, or excuse me, the Claymore. But only Lorcan was staggering. McIntyre with a nice knee. Goes for the headbutt again, taking Lorcan off his feet. If Lorcan and Birch can get back in and defeat Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne, I'm not going to say they're in contention for future Intercontinental Championship opportunities as a team, obviously, but they could definitely be 
and potential opportunities for a future WWE Tag Team Championship opportunity. Whether it be the Viking Raiders and the Mysterios walking out of SummerSlam with those tag team gold and lurking into the cover off that drop kick. Try to get the quick victory over McIntyre, but McIntyre's still in this. And McIntyre has been in this for a while. And now that we think about it, he has definitely had the opportunity to tag the Bruiser right in at some point, but McIntyre's taking on this fight right now. I don't know if McIntyre's trying to make a point here. If I'm Pete Dunne, I mean, I gotta... Oh, and McIntyre takes a fall. I gotta almost not be too angry about it because at the end of the day, McIntyre's taking more damage himself. Regardless of the situation, Danny Burch is in there with Drew McIntyre. McIntyre is fending off these two guys. Signature headbutt there. Takes Danny Burch off his feet. And McIntyre, oh, and a nice big boot. Oh, and there it is. Claymore kick out of nowhere. He followed up the big boot. That time with the elevated kick, which he calls the Claymore. But Oni Lorkin's right there to make sure this match isn't done just yet. And McIntyre, not even gonna allow Pete Dunne to take care of him. He takes care of him himself. Suplex, landing Oni Lorkin on top of his tag team partner. McIntyre grabbing a hold of a future shock DDT to Danny Burch. Into the cover. That is gonna be all that, no, Danny Burch gets the shoulder off. Burch had the moments to rest off the Claymore and even after the future shock DDT, he holds on McIntyre taking care of Oni Lorkin there. McIntyre whipping him off, and McIntyre follows it up with the second Claymore kick of the match. Oni Lorkin nowhere to be found. And Birch is knocked out, and there's your winners. Drew McIntyre. A lot of this matchup, he was on the offense. It almost seemed like he was trying to make a statement. Prove a point to the Bruiserweight. Maybe point, prove a point to the rest of the world that he can get the job done. But regardless of who is in there with the action, the winners are the same. McIntyre and Pete Dunne building momentum on the road to SummerSlam. Big time victories here tonight. But who will be the Intercontinental Champion walking out of SummerSlam? Will it be Drew McIntyre? Will it be the Bruiserweight? Or will it be the Celtic Warrior Sheamus? We're going to find that out on June 26th. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we'll see you on Universe Mode Episode 31 with the final Monday Night Raw before SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock